Here we are again. Sorry this is so late. I had to do a little house cleaning. But, um... Welcome back, my starlings, to another episode of Paper Mario 64 Name Run. Um, the, the rules of the name run are written in the description, so check that out. Um, but, um, basically, I can only use items or badges that contain a letter from my first and last name. One letter from each name is all it takes, but that still limits items quite a bit. Like, I wasn't allowed to use a fire flower or power jump. <laughs> Anyway, in the last episode, we defeated the Goomba King and heard the message from the Star Spirits. And in this episode, we are now Princess Peach. Um, and she's sniffling. Mario's probably hurt. Everyone's in prison. Yeah, a cab, by the way. <laughs> The Mushroom Kingdom will be destroyed if things continue the way they're going. Something must be done. If only somebody could help me. It's Bowser! Good old, lovable Bowser. Grrr, <laughs> my dear princess, how are you doing this fun day? Snowy is waiting for Mario this time, dear. Hello? He's so high up above the sky right now, Hilu. Even Mario doesn't have a chance of reaching us up here, Hilu. No, Princess, as long as I have the star rod, no one in the Mushroom Kingdom can touch me. Uh, wouldn't that mean you wouldn't be able to live for the peak in any way? You know the power that grants anyone's wishes, or everyone's wishes, it's mine. Isn't that just wonderful? Yeah, <laughs> Imagine what it's like down in your kingdom. Your subjects must be so upset because their wishes aren't being granted. Oh, how delightful. They deserve it for the way they treated us Koopas over the years. If you know what I do, all you need to do is ask me, Princess. I can grant wishes. Now, uh... No! They're already broken. <laughs> I know Chugga Conroy already made this joke, but oh, I'm Cosmos. And I'm Wanda. And we're your fairy godparents. Yeah, of course, all the grand requests that I like. Anyway, think about it. Let's go. Stella did not want to be a mascot. She's a cat. Other Let's Players have cats as mascots. I guess I could get a photo of her to be the mascot. If I could find one I like. What do you think in the comments? Should Stella be the mascot of this channel? Or at least this Let's Play? You take care of her. Enjoy your stay here. You watch yourself, princess. You better not cause any trouble. Yeah, I encounter Black from the future. <laughs> oh, please, if only somebody could help me. Huh? Princess Peach, pleased to meet you. I also like thinking. I also like saying Twink as a baby. I know I did Junior Troopa as a baby, but Twink looks like a baby too. My name is Twink. Also, his name might have to 
have, might have had to have been censored if this game was made, like, a year earlier. <laughs> His name would have to be censored, yeah. But well, you're, you're a star kid, aren't you? How did you get here? I came from Stalhaven to grant your wish. It's my job to grant wishes, you know. Mm -hmm. Oh, you came because I wish that somebody could help me. Yes, of course. Oh, that's just great. Thank you so much for coming. Here's my wish. Go right now and take that star rod back from Bowser, okay? Stella. You're playing with the other earring now? The one that's not broken? Oh. Okay. Oh. Naughty little rascal. <laughs> anyway. Think you can do it? Uh, Sawi, that's a little much for a novice star like me. Maybe one of the honorable star spirits from Stalhaven could grant a wish like that. I'm so sorry. Please, ask for something easy, something a small style can do. Then, can you take me away from here? Stella, don't get up on that counter. <sighs> she really likes those earrings. I guess I should show you the earrings that I was talking about. These. Um. Uh. My girlfriend made them herself, and, um, as you can see, one of them is missing a stud. But, um... Stella, the cat, seems to think they're her toys. Everyone in my castle has been captured, and I have to save them all as soon as possible. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't grant that wish either, I'm afraid. Actually, I just got called up to the sky a day ago, so I can't do big wishes yet. If I were a more splendid style, maybe I could actually help. It's alright, don't be sad, Twink. me when my gay friends find out their parents won't drive them to tr pride. I don't know. <laughs> I know not all gay people are twins. There's other kinds, but um, I shouldn't be talking about that right now. This is a Mario game. There just happens to be a character named Twink. Mario will definitely do something to save us all. He's probably coming up right now. Oh, Twink! Do you think you can find Mario? How can you give this to him? This is a lucky style, isn't it? Okay, I'll do it, Princess Peach. I'll fly to the Mushroom Kingdom as quick as I can. Oh, I'm already almost nine minutes in. Oh, wait, Twink. Wait one second. Can you also... Please tell Mario that I'm fine and he shouldn't worry. Okay? Can you tell him that? Of course. I'll tell him your exact words, Princess Peach. Definitely. Now don't despair. I will be back soon, so stay safe until I return, okay? Oh, Mario. Mario. Wherefore art thou, Mario? I know wherefore means why, but it's still so fun to say, wherefore art thou, Mario? <laughs> and... Nine and a half minutes in, and we can finally... Sorry, sorry, so sorry, I'm in a huge hurry. Oh, it's your Mario, aren't you? 
Thank the stars I found you. Twink is adorable. <laughs> How do you do? I'm Twink. Princess Peach asked me to bring something to you. Uh, yes, here it is. Here, this is it. Take it. You got the lucky star! A star-shaped pendant. Let's see you use the action command. Finally! <sighs> Action commands are something, usually, if an RPG doesn't have action commands, the damage is a random number based. But in the original Paper Mario, the prologue, damage was constantly one. Now that I have action commands, it can be two sometimes. Most of the time. I'm good at action commands. That's the Wucky style from Princess Peach. Now that it's yours, you can use the action command. May I take a moment to explain what the action command is? No. This is important, Mario. I think you'll want to know what it is. No. Oh, okay, great. I don't even have to explain. Once you understand how to use the action command properly, you'll be even more powerful. Terrific, dude. You'll be much tougher in battle now, bruh. Here you are! What? It can't be! Were you following me? What? A foolish star kid. I knew that if I followed you, I'd find Mario. If I defeat Mario right now, I'll be famous. I'll tell Kimmy Koopa. She'll shower me with praise. She'll give me a raise. And I'll rhyme for the, next, for the rest of my days. Here I come! Bubblegum! I know Miss Say did that, but she said like, not days. Tattle. Even though I have action commands, Tattle doesn't require them, so that's good. In TTYD, it does. This is the Magic Hoopa, bruh. Magic Hoopa is using magical rods to use. Magic Hoopa is 8 attack of freedom, it's a zero, bruh. Magic attacks are no joke, Mario, dude. You better take these guys seriously, bruh. And since we don't have power jump... Nice, good. Nice. Other magic users will have 11 HP and 6 of that. Fifteen star points, princess, at hundred and thirty-two. Well done, Mario. You're as strong as they say. I know you will be able to defeat Bowser. I'm going to return to Princess Peach's side. I'm not strong enough to really help her, but at least I can tell oh, you're okay. Well, Mario, see you later. And we're... Wait for it. Leet! Oh dear, I almost forgot to tell you the message from Princess Peach. I'm all white, so don't worry about me. That's exactly what she said. It's not exactly what he said. She, she said, I'm fine and you shouldn't worry. I get the feeling, though, that she's very lonely. Anyway, I'll do my best to help the both of you. But please be brave. You must save Princess Peach. There he goes, bruh. Back to Bowser's castle, dude. What a brave little guy, bruh. Okay, Mario. Let's get down to business, dude. To defeat the Huns. I know everyone makes that joke, but it's right there. How can we not? So, 14 and a half minutes now. This one might be a little short. Oh! Mario! Merlin was looking for you. He lives in that house with the spinning roof. He asked me to tell you to go meet him at his house. I was just about to go look for you, but here you are. 
It's rare for Merlin to call someone over to his house. He's a bit eccentric. Even when he has visitors, it's rare for him to come out of the house at all. You don't want to go out there, it's way too dangerous. Going to Cooper Bros Fortress would be a huge mistake. Definitely, definitely don't go. Most of all, though, you shouldn't go ask Mer Merlin for help. Old Man Merlin for help. That would be really bad news for us, I mean for you. Don't even think about it. So we'll talk to Merlin. Merlin is out. Why do you keep on knocking? I'm telling you, he is out. Yeah, um, some people actually get stuck here. When they, when they knock on the door once, they, they don't think to knock a second time. What the? Why is someone sleeping in front of my house? Wait a minute, that face seems very familiar to me. Stella, did you knock something over? I swear. She thinks she can get away with everything just because I'm busy. Gotta show the internet what a naughty cat you are. Oh, stop. Uh, she's too fast. The face seems very familiar to me. Oh, maybe? No, yes, it must be. You're Mario. I've been waiting for you. You should have come earlier. Well, you're here now. Come in. To begin. My name is Merlin. I am a wizard. You're a wizard, Harry. When I was reading the stars the other day, an oracle came to me. What I discovered is very important and it concerns you. But before I tell you about it, there are other things of which I must speak. It's a very long story, but I'll try to shorten it. Where should I start? It was in the old days where my ancestors grew up on shooting star summit as usual. But one day it happened. Suddenly a great appeared, and I, standing face to face, then, far away, the pious, was, raised me up, was amazing. I was still so young then. I believed him, but our hearts were... And then, so... And that is all that matters. Huh? Hey, Mario, were you listening to me? Oh yeah, definitely, I didn't fall asleep at all. Oh, alright. So anyway, that is why I'm able to help you. If you get lost during your adventure, you can come to me. I can predict the path you should take for a small price. Right now, your main goal must be to save Princess Peach as quickly as humanly possible, but according to my second sight, your first path must take you to the Great Fortress of the Cuckoo's. Reach the Cuckoo's Fortress, head east on the road in front of the Toad House. Come again? Strange Toad blocking the east side of Toad Town? That shouldn't be. That's ridiculous. Such a thing has never been heard of. Never. I'll get to the bottom of this. Follow me over there. I'll see what's going on. I told you that you can't pass. Take off. You're on toads, are you? Uh, we don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, well, what gives? Ask anyone. We're just cute, ordinary toads hanging out. Reveal your true selves! Just what I thought. You're the Koopa Bros. How, how'd you guess? I forgot what voice I was on. How'd you guess with us? We were perfectly disguised. Shots black, we have a pretty weird treat for now. Mario, those imposters were none other than the Koopa Bros. Red sus. <laughs> Wrong imposter, I know. You must pursue them to their hideout, the Koopa Bros Fortress. Oh, Mario, there's one part of your fortune I haven't revealed. To get to Koopa Bros Fortress, you'll need help from a blue shelled Koopa. This is a strange port in Koopa Village. You might find something that will clear it up. I must return home now. Okay, but before we do that...
Hello, Mario. The Toad House's slogan is refresh your body and soul. That other one said mind. All the ones other than that one say soul. Would you like to take a nap? Sure. Sleep well. This one's like well. That one's gonna be much easier, yes. Thank you. Alright, I made sure all these items have at least one letter from my first name and last name. So what I'm gonna do is fight in the dojo. The first two fights should be possible as soon as you get the action. So I'm gonna do that. 20 minutes. Yeah, we got time for this. Oh, you must be right. He's gonna say that again and again. The game is so much better with action commands. If you can get past the prologue, it's a really fun game. Good 
technically mushrooms are allowed. Because... Yes, please do that. I bet you won't get star points for any of the fights in the dojo. It's Mario. Oh wait, no, that's, he's not the master. It's Mario, silly. He's here to save Princess Peach, who was kidnapped by Bowser, remember? He fights to the bitter end. But no matter what enemies attack, you can tell he's not the real good Mario because he doesn't say dude or bruh. <laughs> One more turn and you should be down. Three, when we have the super boots and super hammer. to call it quits for today. Yes, I slept well. Um, so yeah. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Like, comment, and subscribe. And tell your friends. Um, and I'm gonna start doing these every at the end of every video, but um, Question of the day. Um, do you think Stella the Cat should be a mascot for this Let's Play or this channel or whatever? Um, if your comment, if you want to answer the question, put Q O T D in the comment for question of the day. Um, and I guess without further ado, uh, thank you guys for watching, and stay fly, as always. No, as always, stay fly. <laughs>